Today on the podcast, we're talking fashion, design, and danger. This is the Kansas City Podcast. Welcome to the Kansas City Podcast. I'm the host with the most running up the flag post, uh, Cole Lindbergh. You know, many of you know me as the last Jedi. <laughs> and if not, it's nice to meet you. You know, each week here on the Kansas City Podcast, we are joined by a one-of-a-kind KC native for a conversation on life in the City of Fountains. And today, I actually have I have two guests today. I'm very excited about this. When yes. I've made my way downtown, we found a nice little spot here at the Barnes & Noble Starbucks <laughs> <laughs> on the plaza. And, uh, you know, they, they're fully energized now. They've had their coffee. They've had their bagels. Had their quiche. Your quiche. <laughs> uh, so I would uh, like to welcome to the show today. They are, sh- uh, I'm going to say this, high fashion streetwear designers. There we go. Does That's that good. work? Yes. yes. But, uh, Coco and Ilea. Yes. Welcome to the Kansas City, <laughs> welcome to the Kansas City Podcast. How are you guys doing today? Good. Doing you well. Know, doing I, well. I'm very excited to have you both on the show because I haven't had anybody in the fashion industry yet. <gasps> Who do you okay. usually have on here? Well, you know, I have like different like stand-up comedians, you know, like oh. we have like personal trainers. I've had, I've had a lot of different people on here. But this is an area because I will tell you right now, I have no sense of fashion. <laughs> like I have. I want to read going. you so bad right now, I, but you, I'm trying. You can go right ahead. It's oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Like, like I have no sense of fashion. I'm always just like a black t-shirt. You know, like maybe like a like a. It's bad. I mean, that's fine. No, yeah. I was fine. gonna say it's, that's the type of fashion. I, mean, yeah. I think I only wore black for like three straight years that okay. was all i wore oh yeah i'm still in that phase when so i was is, in like middle school and high school i had like orange cargo shorts okay, okay. That's bad. that was oh, my okay. it was pretty bad it, it, because i didn't like jeans yeah. i didn't like wearing jeans and then eventually it's like okay you gotta kind of you're wear like jeans. this is the halfway point between yeah. short jeans. <laughs> 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 yeah. with a but few extra were, pockets but they were bright orange so that was a problem so it was like an acdc shirt and bright orange cargo shorts <laughs> oh, okay. it was bad well i mean you know we're more than happy to add a little flavor to well, the podcast thank you, you know. thank you very much i appreciate that so why don't let's let's start at the beginning because you guys have graduated from Stevens mm-hmm. yes. College in Columbia. Yes. Columbia. Yes. Columbia. What what was your degree? Was it was it We both graduated with fine arts degrees. Fine arts degrees. In fashion, fashion design, design and product, product development. development. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you met in college? Yes. Is that yes. where you met? And then it was like match made in heaven was that kind of how it went? <laughs> like I mean, a dream that's what our true? website says. <laughs> but yes. like in reality <laughs> I mean, like, we, we like, were cool. Like, we right. we never had a problem. Like, we were always, like, cool with each other. And then it wasn't until we kind of got about junior year mm-hmm. yeah. where we really kind of, like, just, like, clicked. I was like, yes. You're and you person. clicked over, over fashion and over designing stuff. Yeah. yeah well, and, like, and we were both really and dorky. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> like, you know. It's just, like, you wouldn't expect it. So once I started getting to know Coco and I realized that she was actually, like, a huge dork, I was like, oh, good. Hallelujah. Yeah. I thought I was the only one in the class. That yeah. was a weirdo. Oh, I guess, weird. I guess we should we, we, we should stop for a second because I think people are not going to know who's talking so oh yeah Ilea, you should talk first say hello hi i'm Ilea. Oh, okay and then coco say hello hi i'm coco there we go now now it's better yeah, sorry okay so you were at stevens you clicked your junior year and then you started designing stuff together correct am i i mean is there more uh, to it than that or was it just kind of like hey let's start working well, on stuff i mean we didn't like start designing together until well we would design with each other like because we all sit in the same classroom yeah and so you would have your own space and your own table and we would go over to each other's tables a lot and like sit and hang out and like design together in a way that like I designed for Coco's collection. She would help design my collection. Got it. And then senior year, we started like doing that nonstop and our yeah. teachers kind of got onto us because we kept spending our time with each other instead of it was interesting too because like when we would design separately like i'd be in my room or she'd be like in the lab or in her room we'd come up with almost similar concepts or like similar pieces and it would be freaky because it's like how did you what where did you why are you 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 peeking over my shoulder looking (laughs) at my design yeah but like we were nowhere near each other so that was what was incredible too and just how the vibe we actually ended up designing like a small little capsule collection to go in each of our portfolios okay um we teamed up and did that and at first like our teachers were super against it because they were like no no one's ever it. done this before, yeah, yeah. but it was great. It was a really nice galactic experience. <laughs> Galac- yeah, galactic. It was, it yeah. was alien inspired. So, so, so. <laughs> so when when was the decision made to like, hey, we should like really like combine together here and we should start our own brand, our own fashion wear? I mean, yeah. I go, how does that happen? Like, were you just it like, you know of- what? This is we got 
this. Like, let's, <laughs> let's work it together. It kind of came about, like, supernaturally. Like, yeah, yeah, just by emerged. the time we were designing to get, like, we decided, we were like, well, we've already been doing this. Like, we had both known it was going to happen. Like, we sat down and Coco was like, we just need to actually decide, like, this is what we're going to do. And yeah, I was like, sure. okay, we'll just think of a name and start designing. Yeah. And we applied for Kansas City Fashion Week. We got in. Didn't we, we do, didn't we apply once and then we ended up not getting in and then we applied yeah, again? Yeah, because we didn't realize, like, there were certain, like, rules, like, about... Okay your brand had to be together oh and we weren't, yeah yeah we didn't, like, we didn't even we didn't have social up. media set up oh, yeah. okay, right. okay. we were like let's try it it's <laughs> let's fine. just go in and this we're is, like, oh, we have this is at the very, <laughs> like, very beginning stages yes. <laughs> yes it was super like we started technically speaking the end of our senior year yeah because i was like i want to leave this school designing yeah. with you and yeah so we tried to apply to kansas city fashion week and they were like you guys don't even have an instagram together <laughs> yeah. and we were like oh that's true i guess that makes sense you don't even have 100 followers and that was the thing too like we knew because a lot of the times when people get out of like school for design they don't really end up getting a job necessarily in design right away yeah, yeah. and so that was one thing that we felt both mutual about that we just wanted to still design so we're yeah. like why don't we just do it like why don't we just start our own thing and also i don't really want to work for anybody okay so yeah, yeah. That, that's you want to be your own thing. boss yes <laughs> yes, yes <laughs> ideally the goal would be to just always be our own boss like <sighs> obviously because everybody wants to like wake up at 10 30 I mean, mm. once you're a boss, I guess you really aren't waking up at 1030. I mean, yeah, once no, you're a no, boss, you have a lot more stresses than what you actually think you will. But I know, it's just but I get different. to control how many. Exactly. And, <laughs> and it's different because you won't actually have to report to anyone. People actually report to you at that point. That's, so, that's, yeah. You're true. So you got to be a good boss. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like delegating yeah. so it works out well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah don't micromanage. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard not to. Uh, but yeah, no, we're working on it. We're good. You know. So tell me, describe to me um, your... I, is, I, I'm looking for my my. Wait, I've watched your enough project ru- my enough enough project runway <laughs> to tell you. Okay, so describe <laughs> to me your aesthetic. Like what what is high fashion streetwear? <laughs> like yes, I got I it. Got it's a, it's high a, got I told you I'd be throwing a couple softballs your way. <laughs> oh, it's okay, little curveballs. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, we kind of like. I don't want to say we coined the term because that's really cocky, but we <laughs> haven't I mean, seen it around a whole lot. Like okay. it's mainly high fashion streetwear. For, like, New York City, a lot of the time means contemporary mm-hmm. and for men a lot of the time. And it's, okay. like, really minimal. But for us, we were, like, looking at Seoul and Korea. Yeah. And yeah. we were, like, that's who we are. Like, crazy colors, okay. fun patterns, different prints. And I focus a lot on silhouette and stuff. And Coco focuses on... I love additives, embellishments, mm-hmm. like, statement pieces. Like, that's just... And that's the thing, too. I think with streetwear, it's not recognized as much. Like, during fashion weeks, it is. Yeah. Like, you'll see, like, the pictures. But I feel like I'm almost sometimes more interested in the streetwear shots than yeah. the actual collections that are showing. Okay. Yeah. And then also just... Because people the- show up and they're like, this is... I'm going to go all out because I'm going to fashion week. Exactly. And then the runway is like, okay. Yeah. So you're, like, yeah, looking yeah, yeah, at yeah. the people on the sidelines like, oh, I love that top. I wonder where yes. they got that. Yes. Like, and the, oh, just okay. the looks that they put together is incredible. And also, in the area we're in, in the demographic we're in, you're also not seeing that a lot. Like, yeah. in Midwest. Right. So just to be able to bring that presence here is phenomenal. And also, also, there's like no female streetwear. Well, maybe there is, but they don't moniker themselves as Well, that's because I have down here, that's because it says a brand designed to give confidence and empowerment to all women. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Coco and Aaliyah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that's, and that's what you've named the brand, Coco and Aaliyah, yeah, yeah, yes. right? We went through a lot of names. So, yeah. And then we were like, our names. <laughs> so in... Because this is, this is a good question here in thinking about, because you just mentioned it yourself, Coco, that mm-hmm. like... Maybe it is a place like like Seoul or like New York or whatever, but here in the Midwest, I mean, come on, I, I love Kansas City, but we're not yeah, the most. Yeah, are we the most fashion forward I mean, town in Missouri the world? As a whole. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on now. It's it's like you know we get everything like. 18 months after it's already been on the coast That's usually true. i mean and i hate saying that but but come on right? i mean the, right. re- the logistics of it yeah it's yes. like chicago's <laughs> ahead of us and they're in the midwest of course so there are some cities in the midwest that you know are doing fairly well but yeah. it's just yeah well, we're just kind of like a fashion desert in a <laughs> well, sense. And I, but i also hate to say this and i'm gonna say this real delicately it's white people that are behind <laughs> okay to be fair yes I mean, I'm a, I'm a white guy from Missouri. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Like, I see so much fashion coming from KC, and people pass over it because they're like, well, it's not, that's not what's happening right now. And I'm yeah. like, but it is happening. It's just not in the culture that 
you're used to or that's like focused on or mainstream you know what i mean yeah, yeah i yeah. think people still play it safe a lot yeah, too yeah, yeah. like and i don't understand. conservative <laughs> there it is yes. which i don't understand why like you have one life to live yeah. like just embrace it embellish it yeah, but some people are like well yeah i have one life to live why would i waste it on clothes where we're like that's the only thing you should waste it on <laughs> well i think everybody's a little bit different because yeah. some people are like oh you know me i'll wear my acdc shirt and with my, your orange cargo with my shorts. orange cargo shorts for years i mean you know <laughs> where but at the same time i also don't you know i've always been kind of like my wife is very fashion forward mm -hmm. she's very smart she always looks so well put together and stuff and then she always gets mad at me because i'll like put on a pair of jeans and a shirt and she's like you're done and i go, <laughs> and I go yeah, <laughs> I've had a yeah, few boyfriends just, like that. And then too. you returned. What What do you think I should wear? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> like, what do you think what? I should? What do, do you think? You're like, well, if you want me to wear something else, you don't have to pick it out. Yeah, so what What have I done? <laughs> you know? uh, let's talk about because you guys got to be part of Kansas City Fashion Week. Yeah. Did you have to design like a certain number of outfits? Like, okay, this is my Project Runway knowledge. Come back. Did you have to design like five <laughs> outfits for a collection what was the or something? I think like, it was what was eight? it? It was between like eight, and then you could go all the way up to like fourteen. 14 what was or, or what was your experience or like? Like, what was that like doing that? Like, was that your first major like runway yes. type I mean, deal? That like, was what was like that our like? first not school runway? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, which was definitely different because during this well. For me, during the school year, I ran part of the fashion show. Like, I okay. helped run, like, some small aspects of it. Okay. So, I had both <laughs> ends of it going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. And so, to, like, only be the designer this time was, like, kind of a treat. Because yeah. I was, like, <laughs> no one was coming up to me and being, like, what it, are we doing about the lighting? It yeah. was, like, less was, like, stress, but you. more stress. But more stress. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. like, much more looks. And we were creating yeah. at a much heavier rate than, like, we had before. And so. I think it was just good experience um getting the opportunity to see what that's like right yeah. so seeing like what it's like participating in a show that's not necessarily in school so you're not so much hands-on and that you actually can kind of step back and like look at them doing the work yeah and the location was beautiful like oh, i love the location it was so we stunning it was yeah. beautiful we had like a european style runway which was like the first time i think that they had that done. they tried that yeah wait 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 oh hold on now hold on break it down for me what's what's a european style <laughs> runway <laughs> it's where i thought a runway was a runway you were telling me there's different <laughs> runways <laughs> you have the chairs on the ground mm -hmm. and the oh. models are like at face literally level. At, instead yeah. of the runway elevated yeah. elevated yeah which is okay mm -hmm. yeah, which is beautiful because yeah. we got some really good shots like some of the like yeah. audience took some really good pictures mm -hmm. like bella leitner she took this yeah. beautiful shot of that two-piece oh yes yes, yes. i love <laughs> bella bella's got good photography yes. skills she is a streetwear well she's a streetwear fan like blogger too but she yeah. also does yeah she's a fashion blogger nice so after Fashion Week, mm -hmm. so after KC Fashion Week, you show your, I'm sure you were just elated, just like, oh, we did it, you yeah, know? Right. So then what happened from there? Did you get calls? People were like, hey, I love your stuff. Like, because if I'm not mistaken, you guys are going to go to New York. New City. York. Yeah. New York. You're going to New, New York. York. Honestly, the, f okay, the feedback of everyone loving it was wonderful. Yeah. But we really didn't get as many calls as we, I guess, would have hoped at first of like, yeah. I want this, I want to buy this. Um, but we ended up starting the website and kind of getting everything out there for people to buy. And we're in talks right now with like a few boutiques to get our stuff in there rolling. Nice. And then <laughs> and we got then. a beautiful email oh. from the Oxford Fashion Studio wow. um, asking us to participate in the fashion show in New York. Wow. Yeah. So when is that? February. February. February yeah. 10th. So we're to about to get knee deep in more creation balls deep knee deep face deep yeah neck you're, deep, you're, all the deep you're, you're six going, foot deep honestly okay. so you officially have now so we got like what two and a half months three months mm -hmm. till you're ready to go luckily we don't have to do like luckily we're not doing 14 looks yeah because okay, okay, okay. last time we did 14 and we had like we did like three months i think yeah and we were like pulling our hair out and i was crying by the end of it like i cried <laughs> oh, during every collection yeah, but a few breakdowns you it you wouldn't be fashion to. if you didn't break down yeah, right, to be right, honest right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta yeah. break down but then um <laughs> um, <laughs> this one, you have to pay for your looks. So yeah. We're only doing six looks because we were like, well, we really only like to do statement pieces anyway. We're not like, we try not to be filler. Yeah. Like filler looks. If we can. Yeah. So we're just going to, every single one's kind of a lot. Is a star studded event. Right. <laughs> yes, so is. is that, now with that show in New York, so I mean, is there like several, is it just you guys or is there like several different designers all part of that show? Like how does that, how does that work? Or is it like a showcase just yeah, you guys? There's a few other designers yeah. that will show that same night. Yeah. Um, the way that they described it to us is it's a lot of up and coming designers mm -hmm. and they try to like showcase different 
styles, but a lot of it's similar stuff to ours from what I can tell. Yeah. So okay. I think that will fit in pretty good there for her, which is nice. We'll have a solid place where we actually like make sense. Right. Is there a theme? For our collection? Yeah. Oh, yes. It's is gone. there. <laughs> it's something we have been working on this collection since. Since forever. Since it's, senior collection. Yes, it's morphed into like. Yeah. A million different things. A million different and we, things. It started out with like. I was inspired by George at the dog from friggin' what's that movie called? Wait, um, Oliver what? and Company. Oliver and Company. Mm-hmm. Oliver and Company. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Disney movie. Yes, okay. I love. I have such a big thing hold on. for okay, like. Hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's start. Okay, so you have a collection that you're working on, yes. and the theme was inspired by George at the dog from <laughs> Oliver and Company. It, of, yeah. it was one of them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it was one of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I was going to like, be like, wow, I this is incredible. I have to pick things that are like vapid socialite females who like have no business being this wealthy and like they're kind of garbage people, but they dress impeccably. Phenomenally. Yes. So Georgette was like a fun <laughs> thing for me because she's pink and she's blue and she's kind of a bitch. Yeah. And I really identify with that. Okay. Fact. Okay. That's always nice when you can identify I with, mean, a yeah, with a cartoon dog. <laughs> yeah, right, I feel right, like right. that's real. So yeah, when I started designing it, it was more like, like candy, mm-hmm. like oh, fun, okay. um, more like athleisure style, like right. dripping and like, icing so i was like this is beautiful okay and then then like the georgia then we threw that in then i started creating graphics kind of like based on that so like ice cream cupcakes like things like that yeah and then it like morphed into again. like this yes again <laughs> yeah. into this once again one of the times where we both were like in each other's minds but didn't realize it um both of us had the idea of like doing like this like dripping in diamonds oh. like literally just like when you, say, when you say dripping in diamonds, like all I can envision is like somebody in the shower with like diamonds just falling all over them. Out I love faucet. that imagery. Yes. I want, yes. We should do a shoot where we're somebody doing shoot. we're doing a shoot You're, where they have like the shower. It's just dripping onto their. You we can, can like we can like tie it up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll put you down. No okay, thanks. Okay. So, yeah, okay. you know, the concept. Yeah, yeah that concept. was actually yeah. a really good concept. Yeah. I'm super here for it. We'll have to do that for sweet too. I'll literally tie them up there. But so then it almost kind of went to like a rags to riches theme, where it was like there's a lot of ripping, a lot of diamonds. Um, yeah we were thinking like people who like because i'm obsessed with marie antoinette she has such a thing for like 90s rappers and yeah. we were like yes. people who have started out with absolutely nothing because yeah. like marie was oh, kind of a peasant to be honest <laughs> like she was like a wealthy person but like in the royalty world she was garbage and then a lot of your rappers like the people that you admire they started out yes and then on I their just, own especially yeah. in that time period and yeah. they got it. really wealthy and suddenly they were like i have a lot of money yeah but also i'm still wearing my clothes from when i first started out so like all of my stuff is ripped up so oh, we no. have a lot of embellishments they are all about and excess okay. and that's okay. what i love yes. like bright and shiny ginormous bright, furs shiny. big chains like okay. just the just extravagance yes yeah, just the extravagant life and that's what i'm tied to do you two work we well we would love to be tied to <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah mentally i'm tied to that right. but my bank account says different <laughs> do, you, do you two work real well together and that like let's say you're working on something coco and then alia comes in and it's like no 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 like or is it more like hey is it a very like collaborative like oh you guys kind of are in sync most of the time i mean you kind of mentioned you're in sync most of the time but like when you're working on this collection have you guys had like some throw down fist fights saying like no oh, it can't be like all. that no, no. no. we don't fight if Though, anything we yeah. normally like what each other does but yeah. if there's like some some small aspect that can be tweaked like oh you should change this armhole or you should make the sleeve like this like we always typically tend to like what each other does it's okay. just like little facets of it that so it's a good yeah. it's a good marriage of ideas then. Yeah. it's yeah. not like because we kind of like we always say that we like fill in what the other person is missing yeah so we bring in like if yeah. i don't have something i know i can give it to coco and she'll be like oh well we'll just do this and that'll fix the problem yeah no. and it works so that's well that's good then so yeah. i mean you know it's not it's not like you're you know you always hear about like like people, you're stupid you know, yeah. like, <laughs> i hate your ideas they're awful i was yeah. thinking more of like those starving artists that have like breakdown drag out fights like no it has to be this yeah. or it has to be that the worst you know? thing i think like because i'm a little bit of a steamroller and i know this but i like i've told coco like if i'm steamrolling and just you absolutely hate something and i keep pushing it just look at me and be like you're being fucking annoying yeah Yeah. i mean it has to happen sometimes sometimes i just be pushing shit i'm just like we're just gonna do it yeah like we just had a conversation this morning about a jacket (laughs) that i want something on the back of it coco wants something different and we were like you know what this is gonna be a few hour conversation because we're gonna have to go over the details of the collection yeah if we 
it's a whole process, but you, we'll figure it out. Do you have everything like mapped out from like, okay, we have this many things to do up until the time we leave? Like, yes. are you on a mm-hmm. tight, you're on a pretty tight schedule, being yeah. make sure they oh, get it done. Oh, yes. Is yeah. it, what does it get to a point to where it's like, oh, you're working on them all like the finishing touches at once or do you like finish one and then go on to the next one or are they like kind of depends like I don't know this is just I got no, a curiosity I mean, of my own I mean, well you would think like our teachers tried really hard to impress upon us that Stevens that they wanted us to like have every detail planned but yeah. just life happens right and so and you have to push happens. things yeah like fashion is so unfucking predictable turn to the left uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we've been singing that all morning I'm not kidding we but, sang that yeah. song all morning but seriously it's so unpredictable so like you may have your lineup and your schedule going but like if something doesn't ship right or something sold out or something's gonna take a little longer to get here right. or, like there's just so many different things that can like essentially fuck up that right. you're like oh, okay well and not even just that like as you're designing sometimes you'll be like like during blackout i think we ch- i changed a whole look yeah like three days before oh, we were supposed same. to be at well, our check-in that, yeah. yeah oh really yeah because i was like oh i don't really like this anymore so i completely scrapped it and made something brand new wow and mm. it happens all the time oh yeah you look at the collection from a far point away and you're yeah. like okay this was this does not make sense. You get different Why viewpoints. Yeah. You get, yeah. Okay. That's kind of, yeah. I think that's what happened with the sequin pants too. Cause I think a model dropped and then I changed that look to the like two piece sequence. I'm like, what if we did the snaps on the side? And you're like, yes. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> yes. And we yes. changed the models last minute for yeah. it too. Cause we like put it on somebody and I was like, looks better on you. And yeah. I'm putting it on you. So I, out of curiosity, I want to know who you guys think is like the fashion icon of today. Like, who do you think is like, like, what in your mind? I know you mentioned Marie Antoinette, old night forever, mean, but like, God, like, I love Marie stuff like, today. She like, looks today, good. like, you don't, he- I mean, maybe I'm just in a bubble, but I don't hear much about like, oh, did you hear what? I remember when Lady Gaga was wearing meat dresses yeah. and stuff, but like, you know, you don't hear much about like, oh, Madonna's doing this anymore. You know, like, I, <laughs> like, I think of like all these different like fashionistas and stuff like that. Is there someone out there right now that you're like, whoa, what's going on? Like, this is pretty. Um, no? For me, I mean, uh, Rihanna has been hitting since, Every day. honestly, the album Good Girls Gone Bad. Like, yeah. that's when it really just, like, switched, and she was like, okay, I'm yeah. here. And right. I'm like, you are. <laughs> like, right, yeah, you yeah, are yeah. here in front and center. <laughs> um, okay? Like, she's, because, like, everything she does is just, like, incredible. From yeah. the different hairstyles to the different looks, just even her streetwear looks to, like, her, like, Met Gala looks to her, like, foundation looks. Like, yeah. CFDA mm-hmm. award look like it she can't lose she like, has a different look all, all the time it's yeah. phenomenal I think for me though I also think we live in a time where fashion is no longer a centered like it used to be like you had your it girl and that was it like, right. yeah. you had this group of people that was everybody looked up to everyone dressed like them but fashion has evolved so much with social media that yep we've created yeah. a million different subcultures and trends this so is you true. can't trend forecast for a wide like the entire market anymore yeah no one's everyone knows that they're doing something different like true there's some like white people have something black people have something and then there's um like goth people will have trends and uh, like even skater people still have trends like everyone's got trends yeah in their own subculture of fashion now so it's not there isn't like one person out there other than Rihanna who's amazing. I mean, facts. <laughs> yeah. All those crazy like fashion bloggers that like you see on Instagram and stuff, and then they have like links to the stuff where you can buy it and everything. Like it just blows my mind because yes. pretty much anyone can become a fashion blogger if you got yeah. a little bit of sense of style and you're good at taking photos. Yeah, yeah and you've got an Instagram well, account and you want to. I mean, you have to spend some. I did not know it's, it was it's a full time job. It's a job. Yes, it is. Because you got a lot of networking that you have uh, to do to get people to like care about your style because. You can look great, but there will be six other girls who also look great. Right, yeah. Well, you gotta you gotta learn all the hashtags. You gotta go you gotta learn the hashtags. Yeah, you gotta go hashtag crazy. If your angles off and your lighting's off, you probably won't get that many followers. What's your hashtag? Do you got a hashtag? That's just hashtag Coco and Ilya. Yeah, Coco for Ilya. the moment. Oh, okay, yeah, for, the yeah, moment, yeah, for the like, moment. Like, okay, it's not like when your line comes out, it's gonna be like hashtag George at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hashtag dripping in diamonds. Dripping, yeah, there we go. Right. I like that I hashtag that. dripping in gi- diamonds. But yeah, to piggyback off what she said too, I think it's like such a DIY culture that like yeah. we're not so pressed to buy like the most expensive item. Like if we want that, we'll see it and be like, dope. I think I can make that. And not even on the level like sewing it, like going to the thrift store, buying something that's uh, similar, then going to like the nearest fabric store, craft store, and like kind of adding what you want to it. Like we're yeah. very much into the individuality of everybody now that it's. Nice. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Like, and yeah. also then you see things that you're just like, oh my god, where'd you get? that and it's like yeah. awesome to be like oh yeah i, <laughs> I added this you know i did this myself 
So I think I already know the answer to this question because you've already said a name. Okay. But uh, who do you want wearing your your stuff if you had to pick one person to wear? Brianna. Just one? If, just, well, okay, put more. You can pick more. <laughs> okay, because that's different. Because I, I was know. like, I mean, if we have to pick one, I like, will Okay, go with all right, let's do this. Okay, so here, here's the deal. You're going to New York Fashion Week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how many design looks are you doing? Six. Six, six. okay. You get six people. <laughs> okay. You get one for each look. Who is <laughs> your all star runway walking team? For your six looks at Fashion Week. Hold on, hold on, let me. I got. Yeah, I, this is a on. hard one. I, I, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not about to say anything yet. I got to think. Uh, think about oh, it. Oh, CL. Oh, hundred percent. Oh my CL. god, yeah. Hundred percent. She's one. She's um a South, South Korean, Korean pop artist. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I in K-pop. That went yes. over my. Yes. Oh, K-pop. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's she one. She has like. Oh my god, I love her. Okay. And then obviously, if Rihanna would. Come. Yeah. Obviously, Rihanna. 100%, obviously, I would Rihanna. pay Rihanna to come so much money if I had it. <laughs> I would love. I would like work for her for like um, six years. Kamora Lee Simmons' daughter to walk. Too. Okay. Okay. Ming Lee. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yeah. Of course she is. She's Kamora Lee Simmons' I mean, daughter. Facts. And then Russell Simmons will show up and be like, "I love this." Oh. I'll be like, "Thank you, Russell. Would you like to win fast?" <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars for ten percent. Right. I'll get a rush card if that's what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I if, if that's yeah, let's see what else. Who else? Who else? I don't want to say any of the Hadids. Just, but like, I, I mean, just know I everyone's love Zendaya dressing. too. <gasps> Zendaya, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So you're up to four. I, I'll, I'll let you pass it four. I'm, I'm going to be thinking throughout the podcast. Right. She's going to be like, just kidding. Take, I remembered somebody keep else. Take it to the rest, and then you know that's fine. I mean, I, I just had to keep, I want your dream team. I want your all star dream team. Yes. You know, you're, you're, you're in there. You're four. You're four deep. Okay. Four you deep. Got, okay. You have okay. a few more to go. Okay. Um, we are going to take a quick break. Okay. I'll let you think a little bit more about your all star dream team, and we'll be right back here on the Kansas City podcast. Thank you. Thank you. You know, later this week, we're all going to be eating a lot of turkey. And you're going to be sitting down with your family, and you're going to be saying to yourself, Hey, hey fam, how's everybody doing? What's new in the world? What are you What are you listening to? What are you thinking about, you know? And then, what you're going to do is, you're going to take their phone, you're going to pull up their podcast app, you're just going to hack in there, pull up their podcast app, search the Kansas City Podcast, and you're just going to subscribe them. And you're going to say, thank me later. Happy Thanksgiving. If you do this, this Thanksgiving, not only will it make you feel better, it'll make me feel better. It's the best way to give thanks. So this Thanksgiving, pay it forward. Go subscribe your friends to the Kansas City Podcast. Back to the show. Welcome back to the Kansas City Podcast. Cole Lindbergh, I'm here with Coco and Aaliyah. Hello. What's up? Hello. So during the break, I pitched my design concept to Coco <laughs> and Aaliyah, and they are both all in. <laughs> they've <laughs> full on, they've decided to change their entire line. They cannot wait yes. to to start working on it right away. Hey, do you guys want to tell them what it's about? Or no, do you want it's me to exclusive. Expl- no, 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 no. Okay, we can't yeah. let them know. We can't wait, let them know. Let's just put it this way. There's a lot a black and white checkers. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. Wait, well, I mean, you were all in not even five minutes ago. Are you yeah, t- you're back in? I mean, I mean uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't want black and white checkers anymore? No, I thought I we had decided. I mean, that it's that hot shit. We'll make it hot. So we could, we actually could. Well, we could. Don't don't test us. <laughs> we will change. The, we're all of a sudden, people. chess I, okay. and the queen. And it, it gets yeah, yeah, it gets deep. So I've got a big overarching question here. This mm-hmm. is this is a big one, right? Okay. Because I mean, because I've been thinking about like, okay, you get to go to New York, you get to show your stuff. Mm-hmm. I found out during the break that you get to invite people to it to yeah. come to the, Shit, and see the show. I learned over the break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we both learned over the break. Um, so, when the show is all said and done, mm-hmm. okay, what do you hope happens? Like, what's the next step? Is it just more shows? Is it more? Do you think like so? Like, what do you want? Like, what do you? What do you want to happen? Like, what do you oh, see? Man. Like, what's the normal process here? Just like Ideally, it catch on and go for I it? I want Nasty Gal to contact me. Yeah. And Nasty her. Gal. Nasty Gal. Yes. Is this like a fashion that. blogger? No, no, this is a brand. Oh, na- okay. Yeah. See, I'm so... It's I like know. exactly our demographic. Yes. And they're buyer to contact us. 
Yeah, I would love their buyer to just be like, hey, guys, we love everything you do. We want 10,000 pieces. And I'd be like, dope. So make it happen. It. I'll be like, we, we, yep, yep, yep. Got it. Roger, it out. Roger yep. that. <laughs> Give us like three months. We'll have it there. <laughs> so you want Nasty Gal to contact you. What else? Just a lot of, I want a lot of the style influencers that yeah. are just like really like big names. I want them to be like, whoa, what is that? Yeah. I, or like some, like a celebrity that we enjoy. Like we were talking about CO and Rihanna. Yes. Yeah. They are like just somebody that we really enjoy to like somehow love it so much that they want to wear something from us. Yeah. That would be amazing. Or their stylists love it and then introduce it to them. They'd be like, wait, 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 who, who is this? Right. Who, who, where did this come from? Ooh, yes. we could get Jojo to wear something. I'd cry. Uh, I would too. Um, she so, called me baby. Do you, do you think, <laughs> I remember I'm still bitter. <laughs> so do you think that, it, I guess this would be a good time to say, or for you to describe like, can you describe to me like some of your uh, pieces? Like, like what it, what they like? We kind of got new the, ones. Yeah, I don't think we can. You can? I don't know. Well, I, know I mean, we can't you don't have to. Or even them. like, like I think sometimes when people think like streetwear, high fashion stuff, like is there is there a way to describe it to where like the uh, the non fashion like okay. myself okay. could be like, oh, I understand. Like, I understand yeah. exactly what that would Maybe be. Maybe we can design, or not design. <laughs> Maybe we can Girl. design on the podcast. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe we can describe a little bit of blackout stuff, and then people can kind of get, like, the idea of it. Because yeah. I don't think we can really talk about Sweet Tooth, because that's top secret. Okay, well, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to talk about the top secret <laughs> stuff. But, but like, like when I think high fetch streetwear, to me, it's like, okay, I, I don't exactly know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, high fashion streetwear, like, again, it, it means different things in different places. Right. True. So, for us... For you. you look at Seoul, Korea, okay. and like that's the place that we. I think. Oh, if we could get someone overseas, that's another thing on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah if we yeah, could yeah. get some stuff in Korea, I would be ecstatic. Yeah, I'd cry. But um, it's just over the top. It's too much. It's like a statement. It's a constant statement pieces. Like you're not really wearing anything that doesn't say something. Yeah, okay. and not physically, but it says like, "This is who I am. This is what I enjoy." It's yeah. just always a little bit too much like, yeah oh you so really like, shouldn't be wearing it on the day-to-day -day basis but because of who you are you're going you're to wear going it on the day-to-day -day basis got it okay so it's like when somebody's walking down the street you're like they're going somewhere oh like that, who is that where are they going they're know. either they're on going. their way to a club or they are on their way to like some high level events yeah and yeah. it is like i say that they're standing out I say it's we phenomenal. always have like inner drag queens in us because drag oh, queens yes. always like extravagant. Yeah, my friend Molly Alice, she's constantly like, we'll be arguing about what she should wear, and she'll look at me and she'll go, "It's drag," and I'm like, oh, "You're right. Wear whatever you want. It doesn't matter." As as we all know, you're all born naked, and the rest, rest is, is drag. drag. Yes. Exactly. That's that is correct. It's just always like Happy birthday, RuPaul. <laughs> Happy birthday, RuPaul. Shout out. I, I, she doesn't listen, sadly. I don't I, I don't think so. I mean, we should but send it to her. I you mean, should. hashtag I'll let RuPaul. Michelle Visage do you know wanna, today on Twitter. Do you want to add it right now? We we were talking drag queens a little bit earlier. Do you want to add somebody else to your dream team that you mentioned oh, earlier? Shay. Shay Clay. Like, we made her a jacket one time. Really? Yes. Yes. It was from our blackout collection. The glove. Check it out. Coco on Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I plug plugged. it in there. Yeah, I plugged. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> yeah, I would love to have Shay wear something from us just because she is precisely our style. Yes. Uh, got it. All yeah. right. Well, you're up to five now. We're you up still, to five. Before the end of the show, you <gasps> have to pick your final person, Okay. We can do final... it. We got it. It's just that there's so many options that I'm like, I man, know. if we only have this many. I know. Because I think it's we do. Like, we appreciate and we love so many people that it's like it's hard to like mm. narrow it down to our dream girl gang. Yeah. Oh, our dream girl gang. That's us. So I don't really know what you're talking <laughs> well, about. Well, <laughs> I mean, but we run it. You know yeah. what I mean? That's true. We're the so, head honchos. I got a Kansas City related question. Yeah. Okay. Where do you see fashion in Kansas City going next? Like, where do you? What do you see Kansas City fashion? I'm it's really definitely excited on the about rise yeah. for sure. I'm real excited about it because Casey used to be like a hub for a lot of fashion just because of like all the crossroads that came through here. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of died down with like. You know, other cities and other reasonings happening. But I think it's going in a lot of good places. It's really started to take form and with a lot of people speaking up and mm -hmm. with the individuality and the creativity that's been coming out of social media, yeah. people are really able to express themselves fully, which is 
really pushed fashion into the spotlight a little bit more. Yeah. I think it's definitely it's moving forward in a way that makes me very excited. A lot of emerging talent. So a lot of a new lot of fresh designers, a lot of photographers, a lot of new makeup artists, like models, like Yes. Like it's the it's artist a lot community of, is super thriving right now. It's a lot of talent in this city. So I'm actually really excited to see where it goes. Do you think uh, Kansas City has like a certain like aesthetic that you know, like what, what's Kansas City's aesthetic in your mind when That's it comes to fashion? Funny, I don't even know because every show I see from here is something different. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So it's not all farm girl. Even like Christian Michael stuff during KC Fashion Weeks and stuff, and yeah, it's like very contemporary, detailed, high end. But then you it has turn like a military twist to and you've it. Got, yeah. um, Crystal Arcade. Who does like Harajuku, right? And like Tokyo inspired style. So it's yeah. all. Again, there's like a million different things that can come out of it. It just depends on what you're looking for, where you're looking, and how you want to get it, True. basically. Very nice. All right. So here's the deal. Every week on the show, we usually do something called the KC Quiz. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. You two are very busy. Yeah. Yes. You you don't get to go out to a lot of places, right? <laughs> you, you're, you're busy working on making fashion okay. and making dreams come true right yes. and and Disney empowering style. women and <laughs> you know doing all this streetwear so i only i'm just gonna pull one question from okay. the casey quiz because at the end of the casey quiz i always do this thing called the google challenge oh. okay. the google challenge the google challenge and what i do is is i go to google okay and i type in like one little like line or phrase and i let it auto fill okay. <laughs> okay okay so what i did is i went to google and i typed in the following i typed in fashion is okay but like okay. so i want you to fill in the blank so what is so it's fashion is what is the the complete what does when people go on google okay and they what type are in they fashion, thinking what the is the of? what is okay. the autocomplete you gotta think strategic about this um, what is what it, what comes up see i was gonna answer this what i was thinking well, no, okay. see, and it could be that's because you might be you right, know you, you might be know. you might but be. i highly doubt people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but i think okay um okay let me think you fashion can you know, think about what fashion is. What do you got? Is it sad that I think people would be like, fashion is stupid just to find other people who hate fashion? But I'm like, I people are they that better? So you think stu- <laughs> I, I will tell you, stupid was not on there. Okay. Because okay. there I were didn't... four that came up, and so I picked the top two. So okay. I'm giving you, you got two chances here. Okay. Um, Liberating? Liberate. Okay, that's, that's a, good a good one. That's a good word. Okay. What was, else? That wasn't fashion. What? is expensive. <laughs> Do you got any other guesses? Rejuvenating. Rejuvenating. <laughs> rejuvenating. I get rejuvenated when I go buy things. And okay. that's probably... <laughs> it's retail therapy. Okay, so yeah. that's probably tying into some hidden things I probably need to work on. But <laughs> um, I love getting new things and exciting things. I mean, I mean, I get it. Some <laughs> I mean, things, it. whenever you go places with people, though, it's like who you're with and when you buy it. Yeah. That like really make you love yeah, it more. You know what I mean? that's true. Okay, so you're ready for the answer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there were two on there. Okay. okay. Hard, like, these are the top hard. two. The Can first we have one. Actually, the top four. I want to hear all of them. I only grabbed the two. Oh. Uh, the first one is "Fashion Is Danger." <laughs> Danger. <laughs> yes, which I believe is a I song. I could see that. But, oh, oh okay. okay. Okay, but the next one. This is also a song, and I was very surprised by this one. It's "Fashion Is My Kryptonite." Okay. Which I, mean, I believe. When That's I, real. That makes sense. To when me. I clicked on it. It's like a Radio Disney song. <laughs> <laughs> so Okay, Disney come through. Yeah. Right. So so fashion is my kryptonite, fashion is danger. What do you think about that? Do you think that's I mean, that match is definitely my kryptonite. I would definitely agree yeah. with that. I know okay. it's a Disney song, but like they be hitting me real hard with that. <laughs> okay. So that, I that mean, Disney touches deep. my soul. That's yeah, deep. Disney touches my soul on the daily anyway. Right. But... Moana. <laughs> okay. Moana and Mulan. Mo- oh. And Tiana. Ugh, all, all, the of, all of them. <laughs> all, <basically>. the <laughs> Wait, they, all the Anas. All the It's obvious that your next uh, your next uh, line is just going to be all Disney themed, okay. right? You've already I got mean, the Aldern company us. going on. Right. I'm, I was going to say. I'm offering ideas. He's like, I'm just trying. He's going to do it. I'm right. Good. I already got you the hashtag dripping diamonds things. Yeah, that's I mean, true. And we have that photo shoot and idea. the shower scene. We're yeah. really going to do that. And then we're going to tag I, you in it. Hey, that's fine. You have to repost it on your and, Instagram. Oh, I will 100%. absolutely repost. Okay. I've got that app handles. and everything. I will repost He's right like, away. I got <laughs> app and everything. <laughs> I will, <laughs> I'm prepared. I will repost right away. So fashion is danger. Fashion is my kryptonite. Are they songs? I think so. Okay. I could see that on different levels of fashion being danger. Yeah. I mean, fashion has been on the forefront of a lot of like revolutionary things. A lot of revolutionary true. things. Because it's always, th- that's why I first got obsessed with fashion was because it was like a clear marker of a time period. And like you could see like culture and life change mm-hmm. because of, and 
in reflection of clothing. Yeah. So like, you know, women's liberation start not started with a mini skirt, but like was pushed forward with a mini skirt. Mini like, skirts, power suits in the eighties. Yeah. yeah. And like showing your knees was crazy. Women <gasps> not wearing high oh, collars. Your you know ankles what I mean? are out. No. Yeah. <laughs> like li- fashion can be liberating. Yeah, but then I do also see it like I guess on the flip side of the danger too, because like sometimes it is the most wasteful. So you know, finding oh, yeah, more yeah, sustainable yeah. and smart ways to handle your waist too. Yep. That's yeah, always that's important. Always, yeah, fashion is danger in that sense. But for sure. night, yeah, I totally get it because there's so many times I'm like, I'm not going to spend any money today. I'm not going to do anything extra. And then all of a sudden, I find paid, myself. And then you are like, I'm just going to shop at Forever myself 21 and, and find something man, small, and like Goodwill yeah. or online, yeah, like yeah. places I shouldn't be. But it's fine. Very that's nice. That's why yeah, why culture is so big. Yeah. Well, yeah. stuff for me because I'm like, well, Ilya, you should not be spending fifty dollars. <laughs> what you should do is just take what you already own, yeah, and just make and it revamp better. it. I like cut sweaters up all the time now because I'm like, well, might as well. Yeah, <laughs> I was never really, I guess, a stranger to like consignments and like resell mm-hmm. it because like when I was a little kid, we used to have to go to like the Salvation Army sometimes Who or could the Goodwill or get no. clothes from churches. So right. I'm not really a stranger to it. Yeah. But now I know how to revamp it and make it better on my own. So what's what's the longest you've ever spent on a piece, like making your piece? Like <laughs> what's the longest amount of time? <gasps> Tailoring coat. Yeah, that was year a and doozy. A, half. a year and a half? Oh my god. Well, okay, to be fair. We had yeah. like <laughs> So you <laughs> were like once whole, once a day. We did have like summer break. Yeah. So we had summer break. Started but. designing it in I wanna say winter it was our time. No, it was d- our spring. No, but we had our critique, and then when we came back from Christmas break, I'm pretty sure that's when we really got to it. We did. No, we did spring. <laughs> this is fashion at work right here. <laughs> I mean, going back and forth. We did the spring um, collection. Not, yeah, we like learned in the spring. We designed in the spring. We had our critique. Over the summer, Tina was supposed to grade the patterns, and then um, during the <laughs> this is how it works, winter folks. is whenever we created it. Because we had to do it at the same time we were designing. We did do it in winter because I remember I had to order that fabric at the end of junior year. Yeah. And that was like $250 on some wool. And I was like, oh, sheesh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, that was the last purchase of the year. There and then we go. had summer. That's right. But it's like That's right. three garments, maybe two garments. And they mm. take at least four or five months to complete. Man, because wow. just the wool coat alone, you're literally tailoring in the inside. So you have a lot of whip stitching in the mm-hmm. inside. You have yeah. hair canvas. You have silk organza. You have layers. You before have to hand you can, sew the entire before you can even put the thing together yeah wow. so, so it yeah. takes a long it's, time Ooh, ooh. okay this this brings me to a question okay what do you do with all okay because it's a lot of the stuff like when you guys make it is it like a one-time deal like it's just one time just for the show like and then what happens to it do you we like go, it. you keep does it go in a closet somewhere does no, it we like keep it we use it we for styling styling purposes. pools yeah and okay. then when a, somebody wants to actually purchase it we just make another one yeah and we keep the original for ourselves because like when you have a photo shoot, people are like, oh, I want this garment. You're like, okay, well, I still have it. So that yeah. works out really well. And okay. it's just good to have a sample on hand. Because sometimes when I start remaking things, I'm like, wait, how did I? And then I have to like look back. I'm like, oh, okay. okay you're that's like, that how sense. I did that. Right. Yeah. And you're like, okay, this time I'll make it much easier on myself. Yeah, <laughs> or I'll make it look a little prettier. Because <laughs> <laughs> runway, you don't have to make it look Yeah, no one's going to see the insides. Yeah. Got we it. Still, okay. We still put a good effort, though, to Okay, make I, I was nice. confused because I didn't know if there was like some weird thing that you guys did. Like, oh, this is done. It's dead to me. I'm throwing it away. Yeah. I mean, I do that again. with sketches a lot, which Coco gets on me for. I don't, oh, you throw away your sketches? You don't hold on to it? I don't. Well, there's I certain mean, sketches. There are some things, but like 90% of it, I don't like to keep stuff that doesn't have a purpose anymore. So it. if it's not useful to me at this point in time, and I know it's not going to be useful later, I'm just yeah. like, oh, I'll just toss it. See, I think the reason why I keep it is because sometimes I look back at my old sketches, like my own thumbnails. I'm like, oh, yeah. this would be hot in this collection. But maybe if I changed that neckline or maybe if I added this to it, because like sometimes it's the discarded things I didn't pick for a different collection that I might be like, this works in this one, but just a little tweak. Yeah. And my mindset is, well, if I don't like it I w- and I don't remember it, then it's probably not good enough for me to put in there anyway. Yeah. So. Do you got a favorite piece? Do you have right now? Mm. You got a favorite? I have two. Ooh, from which? Co- oh, well, I guess we can't really talk about sweet tooth. Never I'm mind. stuck between like, two. Which collection? You can't yeah. talk about the new one. But. Um, <sighs> my two favorites are the sequin pants and blackout that mm-hmm. we made, yep. and the glove jacket. Ooh. That's like my two. I think, and I think the glove jacket's on your site, right? It is. I yes. think I've seen that. Right. Once again, mm-hmm. CocoAnilia dot com. Okay. <laughs> That's I L I A for right. everybody. C O C O. Don't worry, you're gonna get a chance to plug everything. Okay. Okay. As many times we can. Spell it right. You know what I mean? That's true. Yes, we already. 
have this conversation about your name, <laughs> like how to spell it. So, I -L -I -A. so you got two favorites. Ilya, do you have any favorites? I love our People's Choice coat. It's a big orange fur pom pom coat. Yes, we found that fabric and I can't find it again. Oh so no! So it's like kind of a one of a kind. Piece yes. Of it. Well, I did find so it. So the but price it's is more going up. <laughs> the okay. Price is up. Yeah. I found the fabric and not again, but it's like because I bought it at a discount the last time. Now the fabric's more expensive, and we're is only from purchasing the same it if somebody wants to purchase the coat again. It's a different vendor. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because I got it through Deb's. Yep, e at the first time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she discounted it because it was on sale. And yeah. then I went to the actual vendor and it was like full price, obviously. Yeah. You know. so, so, design props. I hate to say this. We're nearing the end of our time today. No. We're coming to an end. We've we've, we've learned a lot today. We've learned <laughs> a lot about both of you. We've okay. learned a lot about your brand. This is now your time to shine. You get the floor here. Tell people, we already know, Coco and Ilya.com. Coco and Ilya.com. <laughs> but tell, you know, it's your time. It's your plug section. Say what's on your mind. You got a ch time to shine here. Tell people where to find you. Instagram, all that stuff. Definitely Instagram is just Coco and Ilya. C-O-C-O-A-N-D-I-L-I-A. -I -I same thing with our Facebook. Same thing with our Twitter. And our web, uh, we already said our website like six but that's times. A go that's ahead. fine. You C -O -C -O can do it. C-O-C-O-A-N-D-I-L-I-A dot C-O-M. Okay. All the way. All right. And then I'm trying to think of what else. We have like a little newsletter that we're working on. We are. You can like sign up for it on our website whenever you pop up. Do that. Okay. Yeah. Discounts may come through your email if you do that. Oh. Yeah, girl. Nice. Which is important for or, us. And, or will you be posting photos on like the Instagram and you know stuff for for New York when yeah. you go oh, to yes. New York and everything. We'll make sure to we'll make sure to repost them on our page. I'll use the repost app. Yay. <laughs> the Yay. Repost app. And then I will also make sure to link to your guys' site so, from the Kansas City Podcast website. Awesome. So, oh, yeah. you know, if if you have problems at home typing things in, don't worry. You can yeah. you can click now. We'll or make it easy it for you. We're making yes, it easy. We'll make it easy for you. Uh, make sure you can follow me on Twitter at Cole Lindbergh. Always make sure to check out our website, thekansascitypodcast.com, uh, on Instagram and Twitter at Kansas City Pod, and, of course, on Facebook. All right. Last thing. Anything else you guys want to say to the people of Kansas City before we go today? Last chance. We're awesome. Okay. <laughs> I think that is the best ending to an I mean, episode. We're awesome. Ilya said, Coco, do you have anything to add to that? Or are you just going to go in? Oh, uh, wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could say no. Like, I mean, that kind of, that took the cake. I'm thinking, what else? Uh, what else Coco is there to say? <laughs> <laughs> So, ladies. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the Kansas City Podcast. We will uh, see you soon. I wish you both the best of luck. Thank Blessings. You. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.